What's up everyone, how's it going? In this game we have 3D and attend as our blue Japanese player. Looks like he's gonna be moving out instantly to the pond here on Himiyama. On the eastern side of the map we have Key Run 22 as our orange HRE. Looks like both players are gonna be moving out to the center of the map. Who's gonna see who first? Doesn't look like either player. Uh, I get. I don't know if that's a bug. Yeah, it looks like he can see the placement through the fog of war. Whether or not he's paying attention, that's a completely different thing. But he can technically see it. But as soon as. Yeah, as soon as it finishes, both players are going to see each other. And attend will be getting the boat the boat out a little faster than or a little sooner than Key Run, but that's because of the Japanese passive where he does get or well where they do get the boat's 30 wood cheaper, so instead of the 75 wood, it is 45 wood. Look at that. Same casting time and all that stuff or creation time which is the 25 seconds, but getting it cheaper is a lot better. Of course, of course, because that means he's going to be able to pull off of wood sooner than his opponent. He's already getting his second one and has his third one queued up. He should be pulling villagers off of wood fairly soon. As soon as he actually gets enough for his forge, start getting up those. There it goes. Starts moving them over. Start gathering up okay. that gold. Uh, oh, well, he still needs a little bit more wood in order to get into his second house as well. As for our HRE, Righty. he has already consumed all his little trees, straggler yeah. trees. Still going to be transitioning over to more wood because he does need it. 75 wood a piece that's already 150 that's 225 on these three fishing boats alone like that's that's so expensive compared to what anatan has to pay which is what the 135 and that's it yeah 90 45 35 yeah 135 that's it and he's already transitioned off of wood started ga gathering up his gold as well extremely solid this is really good for our japanese player for anatan he even went for the uh both players look like it looks like both players have went for the forward boat as well which is a little strange sometimes usually you only see three but it makes more sense for the japanese to go for four because for instance these four right here is uh, only cost Anatan 180 wood compared to the fourth of the HRE, which cost him 300 wood. 120 wood difference. That 120 wood was able to allow Anatan to get into his gold a little bit faster or a little sooner, get his second house a little sooner. Just everything in general was ever so slightly better for our oh, Japanese baby. player just because of the cost reduction. The transition was a lot sooner for Anatan. Even in this case right now, we have halfway, or Anatan's halfway, more than halfway done with his Coca Township to get into Feudal. Key Run still hasn't even, or he's actually just about to start his right now. Uh, the Aachen Chapel placement. You know what? That's actually not bad. I like it. I'm okay with that. That's a good position. Uh, yeah, what? it doesn't show us the radius like it does with the meditation garden or other landmarks. But this is a solid position. He's going to get full wood, stone, gold, and of course, uh, he's going to be missing out on the sheep that he already killed. This is one thing that I don't like about like preemptively killing sheep is well this exactly like that's gonna be a lot of food that 
doesn't get or that isn't going to be in the radius of the Aachen Chapel. Not like it's going to make that big of a difference simply <gasps> because we already have the fish, but with the fish, he's going to sabotage shit. It doesn't matter. It's still. F oh, that was a huge demo shot right there. The villager can technically come out and try to repair this, but it's going to get instantly picked. Yep, one, two, jumps back in. Yo, This is going to be getting shut uh, shut down for our HRE player now. Still has three fishing boats here, so we'll be able to gather a little bit more. The demo ship investment, I didn't really like from Anatand. That was... Don't get me wrong, it was still a decent play. And we're gonna be getting the second TC, really? From Kiran? Ooh, is he gonna go into like a two TC heavy castle timing? I, yeah, that's what it looks like. It looks like it might be, he does need to, oh, he could have easily killed off that Shinobi. Keep in mind, both of these players are top 200 and attend. I and attend doesn't use this account. And I check every single time and it doesn't seem like and attend uses this account for anything other than uh, tournaments like that's it. So he does have a Smurf somewhere out there. He has a couple alt accounts. This one. I checked it's unranked and it has a bunch of like custom games on there and uh, like team ranked games but as for solo not so much Kieran on the other hand uh, as of the recording of this video he's sitting at about 190 something like that uh, since we are in a little bit of a slow down oh we do have a galley out but it's not doing anything it's focusing down the ships instead of trying to save the dock which it, uh, it possibly could have saved it actually uh since we are in a little bit of slowdown i just want to mention really quick that i will be re uh we have a geisha out as well currently three shinobi two geisha four and attend he is going to try to apply a decent amount of pressure right now they are rotating around to the northwestern side of kiran's base scout on the eastern side doesn't look like anatan's actually going to be able to do anything a good spot for him to attack would be the southern end or even the eastern side where a tower is not covering it nor is the tc the infrastructure is getting put up in between kind of like in the outskirts it's one barracks one archery range as of right now six military four anatan nine for key run three shinobi two geisha and a scout for Anatan. Nothing has really changed for him because he is going into castle, going into the floating gate at the moment. Only has six villagers on there. Looks like he's throwing up two more. Oh no, yeah, goes up to the eight. Key run, 10 military. Three of it is utterly useless though because it is the galley, not gonna be able to do anything anytime soon, but he is gonna be securing up another, well, securing up the dock. Is it necessary? There's there's not that much food. Yeah, I guess he could. Geisha will be picking off an archer. The archers are going to try to pick off a geisha, but they are way too fast. So let's go back to our little thing or what I was trying to say. I'm going to go. Um, I just want to clarify my schedule once again for content. Oh, we have a war junk out for our Japanese player does two tap a villager and it is going to be able to clear up the galley as well. Not much that our HRE is going to be able to do going into the Red Cathedral as well. So it didn't look like he went for the two TC whatsoever. Not sure why he had so many villagers on there. I think it was just to start getting the emplacements, but he didn't even get an emplacement either. He had five or six villagers. Maybe he just decided against it. He was probably like, yeah, sure. I'm gonna go to TC, get that eco going, go into uh, a bird grave and try to push for, or try to do a game ending push in castle, but then decided against it. I'm not entirely sure what his thought process was there, but it does look like he had kind of a change of heart. Not gonna lie. 
first relic gets picked up by Anatand. Okay, for reals now. Let me just try to get this out. So my schedule will be Monday through Friday, three to five videos. Um, a day, of course. I know I've been a little uh, lacking recently. S pushing out three, four, uh, two to four videos. I think I have everything down. I hope my audio has been sufficient. I've messed with so many settings. I've even jumped over to recording on different programs to see which one sounds better. Um, at first I was using just straight up Streamlabs for my recording, but I, whatever. Like that's just, that just wasn't working out. Apparently my settings were resetting after every uh, stream. So, uh, or after every recording because my streams look, sounded amazing, but my recordings were absolutely terrible. So, not sure why I went on that rant, but Monday through Friday, three to five videos. Saturday, um, one to three. Wololo going off. The ninja is going to be able to get it, or the shinobi will be able to deny that. One relic has been garrisoned so far for our HRE. Um, so, yeah, Monday through Friday three to five videos saturday one to three videos and then sunday i'm not going to be uploading any videos whatsoever the purpose for that is i went into a longer explanation on it uh about it on a different video but to give it the short and simple sundays are pretty chaotic for me so i was stressing myself out trying to produce content and do 20 other things that day because that's when I try to spend time with my family. Um, and then I also stream full time on Sundays. Um, so yeah, like I'm just, Sundays is just gonna be zero, uh, zero video uploads, unless I'm able to do an abundance of videos throughout the week, I'll just save them for uploads on Sunday. But yeah, that's gonna be the, the TLDR basically. Or the TLDR basically for what I just said is Monday through Friday, three to five videos. Saturday, one to three videos. Sunday, no videos. And yeah, hopefully that's good enough for you guys. If not, well, nothing I can really do about it. Meanwhile, getting back into this game, Anatan sitting on 43 villagers, 43 workers. And for some reason, Kiran is just bleeding so many units right here. Like, that is way too many units. All for a single relic that he just didn't get. He lost like three prelates there and about 12 military. Yeah, like 12 military total. That was, I don't know what Kiron was doing there. Anatan is, it looks like Anatan's gonna be securing himself a victory pretty soon, not gonna lie. 19 military to five he's put himself in an amazing well he didn't put himself there key run put himself in a terrible position there was no reason for him to bleed out so many units right there 47 villagers for anatan 21 military nine mounted shinobi one uma bannerman three shinto priests Two Geisha, two Shinobi, a War Junk that doesn't really matter, and then a Scout as well. Plus, he's going to be idling out a few villagers. Anatan has already killed seven, eight total now, as where Kirun has gotten four. I believe those four, all four of them were the fishing boats in the center of the map. Give me a Key run, 44 villagers at the moment, nine military, four spears, four men at arms, and a single prelate. This is not looking good for our Holy Roman Empire whatsoever. And the spears, men at arms are trying to run up on a war junk. <laughs> well, you know, sometimes you just gotta start stabby stabbing boats and hope you win. 
That was not a fight that I'm pretty sure they were going to be able to win, though. Nice attempted harass from Anatan rotating around. I do not know what our HRE is going to be able to do. And there's way too many villagers here. That is way too many. Ten are able to make it inside of uh, inside of their outposts. But he does lose four on the retreat. G retreat. GG does get called. Game goes to our blue Japanese player, Anatan. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.